What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one's going to be an old school style breakdown from the Mudhead League playoffs over the weekend. Drag versus Strafen. Drag running a very unique offense this year so far with the gun tray formation out of the New York Giants playbook. Has a lot of unique plays and a lot of unique setups. And so this was a great way he was using his halfback out of the backfield to get him involved in the passing game. And I just wanted to kind of spotlight it in one of these videos for you guys. So just first things first, he was pretty much running this out of one of two plays. He was either using Dagger or Vertical's Y Cross. And I'll talk about more Y in the future, but for this particular instance, he was running Dagger. And so what Dagger has inherently is that it has a deep crossing route. It has a deep dig route. So you have a deep crossing route from the inside slot receiver by Randy Moss, a deep dig route on the left side by Odell Beckham. And then what Drag was doing was he was hot routing Steve Smith in the middle slot to a flat. And then he was wheeling Lamar Miller up the left sideline. And so that's the reason you see he motioned Lamar Miller from the right side to the left side. And that's pretty cool this year. You have that halfback float feature where in almost every shotgun set, you're going to have that option to motion your halfback to the opposite side of the quarterback. And so this can be done not only out of gun tray. You know, you could pretty much do this out of any gun trips formation um, because you can get a similar setup depending on where you're at on the field. To, to what drag has here with dagger and so kind of what this play aims to do is it puts the outside flat zone defender in this case it's going to be this outside cornerback in an awkward situation so right here it looked like strafen went with a two deep setup where the outside cornerbacks were the ones playing the flats and so in this instance he ended up it looked like playing a cloud flat and so he dropped back deep with odell beckham running that deep dig route but whatever flat zone he's playing cloud flat soft squat hard flat whatever it might be you want him to get stretched out to the sideline. So in a cloud flat situation, Odell is going to do a great job of carrying him up the sideline and carrying him deep downfield. In a hard flat situation, Steve Smith's going to do a great job of drawing that attention down underneath. So the goal is to open up Lamar Miller as he cuts up the field in the seam. And then another awkward thing that happens is if your opponent happens to have another like hook curl or vertical hook, say this defender right here is in some type of yellow zone over the middle, he can be put in an awkward situation because of the fact that Lamar Miller and Odell, as their routes develop, have a nice little mesh point where he has to make a decision on if he wants to go over the middle and guard the deep dig, or if he wants to stay wide and stay in the seam to guard Lamar Miller going up the field. And so it really stretches both of those defenders on the left side of the field. So it's a pretty unique three-man route concept. And then also you have the deep uh, crossing route by Randy Moss over the middle of the field, which is kind of a decoy on this play. You don't really want to throw that, but if you guys have been playing Madden 19, you know those deep crossing routes are very, very good. Uh, they beat man-to-man -man coverage. Zones don't do that great of a job guarding them as they cross the field. So a lot of times that's going to draw your opponent's user attention. And so that's kind of the smoke and mirrors of the play is you want them looking at that deep crossing route and usering that, and then you want to give space for your three-man route combo to develop on the left side of the field. So what you're going to end up seeing right here is if we go ahead and play the footage, we're going to have the three-man route combo develop. And you can see Drag throws the wheel route, but you can see what happened on the left side. You see the cloud flat dropped back with Odell down the sideline. He's playing very, very deep in this third and fourth situation. You see Strafen's user was over the middle of the field. You see him reacting and noticing what's going on. But if you noticed... Even if it's just for a split second, a quarter of a second, with the way momentum works in this game, if you can just get them moving in the opposite direction with that deep crossing route, then they really have no chance to recover in time to try and stop this route combo. So you got the ideal situation from drag here where the outside cloud flat defender got pulled up field. Uh, Strafen's user got distracted by the deep crossing route over the middle, and that opened up a ton of space underneath in the seam for Lamar Miller to cut up the field on his wheel route. Drag makes a juke gets a block from the flat and ends up picking up, you know, over 20 yards. So that was just a very unique route combo from drag on that third and fourth situation. Very, very good. You know, it's not just, it's something you can really kind of run consistently. Obviously you want to have different looks. If you're motioning over your halfback, uh, you don't want them to be able to key on every time you motion your halfback over that that's the route combo you're going, going to be going with. Um, but it has a lot of potential in terms of just opening up the field and throwing something at your opponent that they're not used to seeing. So I just thought that was very unique from drag, a very nice route combination. And I wanted to kind of do a spotlight on it, but that's going to do it for this video guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed until next time, take it easy.